Hi everyone. Uh, my aim is to inspire people using local clays and earthen for low fire clays. So I will be making a series of products where the earthenware clay is best possible clay. And this week I'm making some ollas for watering the garden. And I'm going to show how to make them. Or, and I'm also going to show you how to uh, make ollas from the thrift shop finds. Hey, the pictures of the villas is here from Tölö week, week, which is almost uh, downtown Helsinki. And uh, here, this is one of the villas. They have a really nice cafe here in the summertime. We, uh, oh, you're filming, we are, by the way. We are filming already. Yeah. But I wanted to show that if you don't want to learn pottery and, and uh, you want to have these olas, so you can do them just by buying from thrift shops terracotta pots. Just make sure that the mouth is the same size. Okay. So what you can do is just to buy silicone for bathroom that doesn't get mold. This is mold resistant. And you put a little bit of silicone there. And if you're in Europe, you can put 50 cents or anything else there just to block the hole for one. And then you can just put silicone here. Press these together. Put a little piece of stone or something to weight it. And then you can use this. But it doesn't have so big mouth, so it's not so easy to pour them. But you can have a funnel good. or something. And yeah, and then you just put it, uh, dig a hole in the ground and put it all the way from here, all the way there under the ground. And then you have to put something to cover the hole so that the mosquitoes don't make a hole there or any uh, animals drop in there. You can just put a stone over it. But this is the easy way of making watering system in the garden, and especially uh, tomatoes like it. So you put it in the ground, and then you can plant all around it. So oh, simple wonderful! So simple. And you can get. And then you can go on vacation. Then you can go on a vacation. In Finland, we don't need those so much. <laughs> it's raining quite a lot. But if you live somewhere, this is the oh, this is the old system. They use these others all around in world in Mexico and in. Uh, in uh, North Africa and in China. So this is a good use for terracotta, all terracotta pots. That's it. Or even if you have some big plants, big plants at home, in big pots. Yeah, you can have it in your herb garden. Then. Yeah. Yeah. But I just wanted to cool. show you can this make really this nice. many different, or, or actually I want, you can also, if you have a bigger pot, pot you you uh, dig a hole and put it like this in the ground, and then you have a plate on top of it. That's enough. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to have uh, any holes in this because the water, this is porous, so the water comes through. Simple as that. Super nice. Thank you. Good. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome. I take my face mask off because otherwise nobody will understand anything. So this is a small olla and you can do it in one piece. So I'm going to show how to make a big olla and then it's two pieces and we attach them. <coughs> so first you center it. And you can use, see that I use this part. When I have a big piece of clay, I use always this part. Um, and then I let the wheel center it, I just push it certain. So just do it nice and slowly, let the wheel do the work. You can ask if you get questions by the way it goes. So far we are just admiring. <laughs> So you need to make a uh, quite wide, quite basic. No, yes. you don't have to make it quite wide, I'm just doing it. That's true. Now when you say. And when it 
it's a bigger piece, I use two times to get to the bottom. Yeah, when it's a big piece like this. You don't pull anymore. Oh, actually, it's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yeah. And then, this is really important when you use cool de la clay, that you have to get all the small particles to go around. Otherwise, it will break. And a lot of people have from, uh, don't use this clay because it breaks. But you, so you spiral the button. Yeah, so you have to get all the... Because clay particles are flat like this. So you have to get them to go on spiral too. We are working with spirals here when we work with clay. And when I pull up, the mouth should be smaller than the base because we're working with central gravity. So then the pot will not open. And now I'm making an olla. So anyways, I, I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna keep the mouth small all the time. I dip the clay for the first. You have reduced the speed for that. Well, I have higher uh, speed when I'm down here. And when I get uh, higher, I go slower. And I, now I can see that I wedged the clay badly, so there is an air bubble, but I can take it away like this. That happens to a la lazy, <laughs> lazy person. <laughs> the clay is not wedged properly. And then I leave the second time. And now when I get all higher, I start going slower. And then I start making the round part underneath here. And always go all the way up. You have to get the spiral all the way up. And important here is that you don't go far down here. You have to have a form that supports the weight. And uh, I'm seeing a lot of people just pushing for here too wide, then the pot will collapse. But um, we have to have it, have it so that it supports. And these are all last. So you're going to leave the mouth quite wide because then it's easy to pour water in the summer. So and take the spiral all the way up. And I'm going to make two parts or less that I, that I glue together with clay for the bigger ones, so you don't have to. You can make a big bowl like this, round one, and the mouth separately, and, uh, but that takes two days. So, But this is for small Ola, so you can have this for your herb garden or something like that. Or you can make 20 of these, then you have Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you.
So when you're done with your lid, remember to poke a hole there inside. So otherwise the it will break. So here's the oil. I have to wait a few weeks that it's totally dry so I can fire it and after that it's gonna be terracotta red. Hey thank you so much for watching the video and uh, please subscribe.